Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour on a 12 by 12 stretch canvas. I've already put a base layer of black paint onto the canvas. I'm going for a fire or flame effect today. So I'm gonna be using four colors, red, orange, yellow, and like an apricot orange. All the colors will be listed in the video description. So let's get started making our puddle pours. Last time I did a Dutch pour, I put the puddle pours more towards the back. So this time I'm going to bring them up a little bit closer and see what kind of effects I get from it. And they don't have to be perfect because um, <laughs> I'm far from perfect on these things. It's going to get blown anyway, so it doesn't matter if they're perfectly in line or if there's drips anywhere because you're not going to see those. Neatness is not my forte on these things. I love these colors. I love a flame look. This is actually, I think, the third painting I've ever tried with colors to achieve a flame looking painting. One was a flip cup and I can't remember what the other one was but they came out really cool looking. I love this color combination. So all of my colors have spot on treadmill lubricant in them so that we can achieve cells. I also like using these little tiny paper cups because you can actually crunch them and squeeze and get the last bit of paint out of them. Yeah, I know some people have said that this is wasteful and I should be using plastic cups for the environment. And yeah, I like to be environmentally friendly too, but this cleanup when you're doing several paintings a day, it's just very time consuming. For all you environmentalists, hate on. <laughs> no, actually, I agree. I'm just not doing it right now. Sorry. So I'm going to put a dam of black paint in front of all this to blow back onto it with my blow dryer. And I did mix the spot on treadmill lubricant in this as well. Now my base coat of black does not have any silicone in it. And I didn't want it to because if it's on the canvas, sometimes it creates pits and, or these little bumps and it's really unattractive and then you have to do touch-ups and everything else so I'm all for saving time. I'm getting my blow dryer out and we are going to blow it back and then forward. And I'm going to run my blow dryer on high. I tried it on low before and it just doesn't move the paint very well. You might want to test out your blow dryer and see which setting is best for you. Okay, let's go. So we got some cool cells already going that way. I am loving that. Look at all those beautiful cells coming up. Got a little bit of negative space. This will keep moving for a while. So let me torch this again. Make sure everything, all the bubbles are popped. Okay, I love this. I think it's amazing. There's a billion cells in there and it's just going to keep moving as it sits. So it's probably going to get a lot cooler looking. So I want you guys to stay tuned for close-ups on this and if you like what you saw please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I put out a video every Monday and Thursday and also if you really enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.